Hello everyone. So I am here with my next color CL um, try on video that I talked about um, just a little while ago. So I've organized this one a little bit differently. Um, as of the day of filming this, I was not able to do it this weekend like I wanted to. It's just I have been, I've never been this busy in my entire life. <laughs> um, I can't complain too much because I do love my job, but I am just like, I'm burnt out, but I'm not burnt out. Like I just don't have any time. What is that? Is that my eyebrow? I, I, I try to be smart this time. I didn't put really any makeup on. I kind of put stuff on my eyebrows and a little bit of mascara just so that I don't look that dead. But I wanted to avoid the whole running mascara. Oh wait, hold on. Let me clean myself off. Whole shenanigan scenario, whatever you want to call it. So in this group of um, contacts, I have got mostly greens, one blue, um, one orangey yellow kind of color, one brown, and a reddish brown color. As always, I'm going to start from my least favorite onward to my most favorite. Well, mostly as in um, all but my first video. So that's how I usually like to do things. Um, before I get started though, <clears throat> sorry, I've been talking all day so I'm losing my voice. I just wanted to show you their boxes and how adorable these boxes actually are. So this is the regular Color CL Siesta brand, and it's just like a compact, little shiny, nice little box. <clears throat> These are the special black editions, and this is quite a nice looking box too. It's it's nice and silvery, and it's not really black. It doesn't look black to me. It looks more like a navy blue, but that is still a really pretty little box. This is their sparkle edition. So I personally like sparkle better than pearl because pearl is more like a rim around that seems to color the outside of your eye. Sparkle seems more like a full coverage contact that has sparkle all throughout it. So I quite like this box. It's very, it seems very fiesta looking, you know, festival celebration and it's just, I don't know, it's quite a nice box. I do really love the box for the pearl edition though. The box is different, differently shaped from all the rest. It usually comes with um, its own contact ca um, lens case inside of it. And it's like the smooth but textured kind of box. And it's just set up really, really nicely. In a way it's kind of disappointing because with a box like this I expect a lot more. But I guess for people who are lucky enough to have colored eyes you you do get the sparkle effect or the pearl effect so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pause between the trying on of every contact that way I don't gum up the video with me trying on the contact so I'm just gonna put them on list what they are try to get up close and show you I've got a bright light right here and a bright light right here so I've tried to highlight it a lot more than in previous videos and since I cannot do the outside videos I'm going to try to highlight at least in the video with indoor light so you can see it pretty well. I've also filmed separately which while I will include with each pair of lenses what the contact looks like in the actual blister pack so you can see the color of the contact not on my eye but just what it looks like in the packaging itself so I thought that might be a little bit helpful for people who have different shades of eyes to be able to see what they look like off of your eye. So I will be right back. I'm going to try the first one which is Pearl Latte Brown. All right, so this is the Pearl Siesta Edition Latte Brown. So this is just my eye color with a ring of sparkle around the outside. So I don't know how well this um, has lit up for you to see. Oops, these, I'm gonna try to angle this light just a little bit better for you and see if you can see that. Um, so this is it's a really pretty color if you would like a natural color that doesn't really stand out too much but still gives you a nice sparkle. So for comparison, this is what that looks like. So you can see the pearl color. You can see this is what the contact lens actually looks like. This is the rim around. So if you've got colored eyes, that would be gorgeous. And this is a nice understated look. And um, that actually is really pretty if you don't want anything hugely different and you've got brown eyes. Hmm. 
Pearl Latte Brown. All right, this is the Pearl Edition Lime Green. So this is, this one actually impressed me. It's got a bit more coverage than the brown does, or at least it seems like it. It stands out to me a lot more than the brown. And um, I've got, I don't know why I have a yellow light here. Let me turn that off. All right, so these have got pretty good coverage. I just wish that they covered more of your eye. That's my only complaint with these. So what I'm gonna do at the end of the video is I'm actually gonna put on one pearl and one sparkle so you can see the difference in the coverage between the two contact lenses. But it does give you kind of like a hazel look and if you back off a little bit like this, you can still see the color, which is really good. It's a nice subtle green for if you want it to look like you've got naturally green eyes but nothing too cartoonish I think these are a pretty good choice and as far as the pearl edition goes I'd have to say these are my favorites because they do show up and they do look quite natural so I, pearl I really like lime these ones. green these are the siesta parrot green um, so I kind of expected a little bit more from a lens that is called parrot green for some reason I thought they'd be a lot more vibrant than they are I mean they still do show up so from far away you can still see them And they've got a good color. They're kind of like a yellowish, greenish color. I feel like I've got something on my eyelash. Um, they've got kind of a yellow, greenish tinge to them. But I feel like for something called parrot green that involves the colors that they, they have, they're not as pretty as I kind of expected them to be. But they are, as always, they are beautiful contacts and they have, you know, completely full coverage. Parrot green. These are the Siesta apple green. And I think that that name is the best name for these contact lenses. I mean, they fit very, very well. So these contacts are almost a yellow green color i mean i think of granny smith apples when i see the color i'm quite a fan of really striking really obvious contacts even though i've been getting very natural you know natural based colors lately i still really really like something that makes you take notice like oh wow those are beautiful or those are unusual and i think these fit the bill quite well i was actually going to feature them a little bit later in the video but I grabbed them too soon <laughs> so I put them on um, but I mean you can see them from a distance and they're noticeably green noticeably noticeably green yellow now you will notice I've said this in other videos that in a lot of my videos you can see the color of the contact bleeding onto the white of my eye I've got pretty small irises um, like I've got small eyes and I've got small irises I've seen these contacts in other people and it does not bleed like this so take that into account when you're looking at different contacts that just you know the color might show up differently on you based on your light your makeup your skin tone your skin tone your lighting your makeup your skin tone your eye color there's so many things to take into account as to how they will show up on you you just kind of have to know yourself and also your your eye size Let's see, that's my normal eye color, and these colors, these cover it so well. I really, really love this color. You could describe it almost as a sickly green color, but I really like them personally. I really, really like these. Apple green. This is the Siesta Black Edition Creamy Green. I usually like the black edition a lot more than this. Um, sorry, I've got this running down my face. I've done pretty well with not being completely leaking today. I've tried to have less 
fluid in my contacts when I put them on, but from a distance, you know, you can see them really well. It's just something about the color. They don't really look creamy green to me. They look very minty, minty green. And to me, they don't have as much coverage as the other ones that I love, like the Mandarin and the green, um, or even the purple ones that I tried on in my first video. They're still a beautiful color, but I can't say that they're amongst any of my favorites. Creamy green. Now we're about to get down to my top five. This is the Siesta Black Edition Cloud Green. So I've got Cloud Green and Cloud Blue. And the blue is what I had mentioned in my previous video that I actually quite liked. This I finally found a blue contact that I like that I think looks okay on me. Um, if you recall in my previous videos, I said that I, I had always dreamt of having blue eyes, but every blue contact I ever wore didn't really suit me and I wasn't happy with any of them. But this is the cloud green and I'll show you the blue in just a moment. This green I really like. This is more what I expect from the black edition. So as you can see, this is a beautiful and very natural looking green. It's got amazing full coverage and it just looks, it just looks really, really good. So I really, really like this contact. This is one of my tops. Cloud green. All right, this is the blue that I am absolutely in love with. To me, I think that these are very natural looking and they're very flattering. They they look natural. I mean, these these are the perfect blue contacts. These are the, I'm even gonna show you. These are the Siesta, it's probably reverse, sorry. But it says, these are the special black edition Siesta Cloud Blue. And I thought I liked the cloud green when I first tried them on and then I put these on and I was blown away. Even up close, they don't look all that artificial in my opinion. I mean, I can't really see too well because I'm looking into bright lights, but um, this eye is watering, I'm sorry. Now, if you see my eyes watering as they do when I make these videos, one is because I leave a lot of fluid in my lens as I put them on my eye to help suction onto my eye. Two, I've got cats and there is cat hair absolutely everywhere. And three, while I don't I, I don't wear contacts. I wear them maybe nowadays once a week when I go shopping. Other than that, unless I'm taking photos or doing these videos, I don't wear contacts. So it's not that the contacts are irritating my eyes. Maybe they are because I'm not used to wearing them anymore, but I, I, I don't have sensitive eyes. I think it's just because I'm sitting here popping them in, popping them out, popping them in, popping them out. And um, some of them have got cat, cat hair inside of them. I mean, I rinse them off and I wash them off, but... I, I just cannot get rid of all the cat hair. So what you're seeing is me getting cat hair in my eyes. And um, that is why my eyes don't need a break. It's just that I've got cat hair everywhere. Um, and I do brush them. It's just, it's just everywhere. I'm not getting into that. But as you can see, anyway, these lenses are fantastic. So even from a distance, I mean, they're very obviously blue, but to me, they don't look zombie blue or disgusting blue. They just look like, well, she's probably got blue eyes, you know, some old white girl with blue eyes, which I'm not white and I don't have blue eyes, but I think that they're very, very passable. And I, I love these contacts. I love that they've got a blue rim around them and they get lighter in the middle. I love that they blend into your eye. I see cat hair on my face. Um, I just love them all around. I love, love, love these contacts. Cloud blue. All right, these are the Sparkle Edition Citrine, another pair that my my iris is just a little too small for, but I don't care. Um, these ones, as you can see, if you remember my Pearl Edition at the beginning, you'll remember that the Pearl has nowhere near this amount of coverage. Um, I will put one Pearl and one 
sparkle beside each other at the end of this video like I said but for now if you remember there's a vast difference so I love the sparkle it's got lots of glitter in it but it's got full coverage and these are beautiful this color is another one of my weird colors that I love this is just like an orange color I guess it would pass for like a sickly brown eye <laughs> or something depending on what color your natural eyes are but I think that they're striking enough to make someone go what color are your eyes but um, not really natural not really unnatural just interesting and I like interesting so I really like these contacts and you know again these are my real eyes so that's the that's the difference well my eyes are turning red I've got two pairs left okay so it'll be okay eyes sparkle citrine All right, this is probably actually my favorite pair, so I don't know why I didn't save these for last last. But these are these Sparkle, I don't know how to say this, Peridot, Peridot, if you can see that. That's what these are. <laughs> and um, they're a really pretty emerald green color with the Sparkle glitter all around them. And these are just... To me, these have great coverage. They're very, very, I guess, visible. Lots of visibility. Um, whoops, my cat just jumped down. Um, lots of visibility. Not visibility. They are very noticeable. Not entirely artificial. Semi, just enough to be very noticeable. And they've got a beautiful shimmer to it. Great coverage and I really really like them I can't decide if these are my favorites or the blue I'm not sure but I love them I'm not sure how to pronounce this one this is sparkle peridot peridot I'm not sure sorry those are just bubbles in the water And lastly, the most interesting out of the bunch, definitely the most interesting, is the one most people wrote me and wanted to see. So I saved the best for last. Sorry. Um, but this is the Siesta Ruby Choco. So this is what that looks like. And this is a really interesting color because it's like a red color, but it's not red. It's like a kind of like a maroon. I guess um, it's like a red without it being completely cartoony, like in your face. Oh, I've got a hair in my eye. Look, you see that? Look at that. This is why my eyes are bloodshot right here. This is Lucifer. His fur is literally everywhere. I can open something and there's already fur in it and I don't know what to do. I've got so many brushes I just pulled this off the outside of my contact lens after I washed it off. I've got the solution right here. I've been rinsing them off and I've got the case that they came in with fresh solution in it. And I still pulled this right out of my eye. Go figure. Aside from my bloodshot eyes, <laughs> this color is really pretty. Um, it's really unique. I think that it's quite striking. So, so from, from a distance, it is definitely red and it looks unnatural but then it does but it doesn't it's another one of those that could pass as what color are your eyes that can't be real um, depending on what you're wearing you know what kind of makeup you're wearing and what your natural eye color underneath is again my natural eye color is this so it's not too off this is just pinky red enough as you can see right there to give me like a like a maroon sheen over my eye so that's what that looks like that is quite pretty I think I really like that Ruby Choco as promised here is a side-by-side -side comparison 
this is the pearl. This is the pearl, I believe it was lime green. I'll make a notation if I'm wrong. And this is a sparkle. Side by side, you can see the difference. The pearl has got a much bigger pupil hole than the sparkle does. The sparkle is more visible. The pearl gives you more of a doll-eyed look, like a circle lens, and this just gives you coverage like a normal contact lens. Which one do you guys like better? I like the sparkle better because I like that there's more to it, but I don't know, some people might go for the doll-eyed look. I didn't really realize that that's what it looked like until I put it on side by side, but let me know what you guys like better, just because I'm curious. So, aside from my mess, I just wanted to say thank you so much to Color CL for sending me all of these lenses. Um, they have made these review videos possible. Um, all I did was write to them and tell them that I was reviewing their contacts on my own. I bought contacts, I reviewed them, I really fell in love with them, and they, you know, they let me <clears throat> have some more contacts to review, which I've been doing. And I wrote to them and I said I wanted to know if it was allowed for me to do a giveaway, and I was going to pay for it all myself, and they offered to pay for it within the U.S., and I'm the one who said, well, you know, if a winner happens to be outside the U.S., I will, I will send them myself. I'll, I'll, I'll pay for that because I don't want to leave anybody out. So, um, it's not much, but it's just something, and I've enjoyed doing this so much. You know, like I've explained in my other videos, it used to be a dream for me to even own one pair of contacts, and now I have, I have every color I've ever wanted and I get to share them with you guys. I wouldn't share them if I didn't love them. I've had, as you all know, from my color, was it um, FX eyes days. Um, if a company does me wrong, I will definitely blast them. They have to do something really, really wrong for me to blast them like that and try to stop other people from spending money there. Um, color CL has never done me wrong, not when I've ordered from them and not when I've not ordered from them and they've sent me stuff to review. Um, they've been extremely friendly the entire way through, um, easy to contact, and I know I go on and on and on like an idiot about it, but it's how I feel and I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, I did just want to thank them for their, you know, for their contacts and for making so many amazing contacts. I am trying to get a hold of one last round, like I said, of the costume lenses and some of the new line that they've just released. And if I get those, I will do another video for you. But until then, this is the end of my um, giveaway videos. So from this moment on, from the moment this goes live, if you comment on the, the giveaway video or my other review videos, all of which will have the same intro to it with all the links to all the other videos, if it's got those links and the rules in them, you can comment on any of those for separate entry. So that's three or four videos. I'm not quite sure exactly. It's three or four videos. You can get three or four entries. All you have to do is um, comment which pair of contacts you like the best, whether it's on me or from the website or something I've shown. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's from Color CL, comment which color you like the most or which ones you'd like to try. Um, subscribe to my YouTube and um, follow my Instagram. Um, I will do a drawing and I will draw three winners. Once I draw the winners, I will double check that you have subscribed and you are following my Instagram and then I will ask you for your address and which contacts you want and then you will be sent your prizes. So yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you for being here for all of this and you know, I, I have lost a lot of subscribers. I'd say around 30 or 40 since I came back online um, in about a month, which is pretty huge. But I mean, in the end, like I'm more about quality than quantity. Like I, I don't ever just pump out content just to have more videos. I don't care. Like if I, I, I run a group on Facebook and well, I'm not really active as such anymore. But when I was active, 
Um, it's a horror four group. But I don't really care about having the most members. I think we've got about 27, 28,000 members. Um, we would have like at least triple that if I approved everybody. But I want, I want to make sure that the members are good and they follow the rules and it's a nice place to be. No bullying, no attacking, no mocking the dead. Those are my rules. And I would just rather have quality content and quality members over just pumping out stuff just because I can, just to get the views up, being fake, being whatever everybody else is, just to get people to watch me. I'm not that person. I'm never going to be that person. If you don't like the kind of person I am, you are more than welcome not to watch me. I don't care. I only want people who are here who actually, you know, either agree with me or if you don't agree with me, disagree with me in a respectable way. I mean, I don't, we all have different opinions. It's how you go about expressing those opinions that's important, not that you have differing views, you know. Um, everybody has their own reasons for liking and, and being the way that they are, and what people need to understand is that it's okay if someone disagrees with you. It's just that's no reason to bully them over it or to insult them or to be mean about it. You can respectfully agree to disagree and that's the adult and nice way to do it and I'm fine with that you know I don't want yes men I just want someone who knows how to show respect and um, yeah um, I don't really have anything else to say just um, thank you guys again for being here whoever hasn't left good luck if you have entered remember you can have multiple entries and I will put your name in it's a fair drawing and um, I will see you next video